Welcome. You are now in The School Zone. The School Zone is where you'll find out about all of the good stuff happening within Collier County's public schools. While in the School Zone, you'll see the school, meet the principal, teachers, and students, and check out what's new and exciting at the school. And now, in the School Zone, from the School District Communication and Information Office, Joe Landon and Leanne Zinzer. Well, thank you, Tim Brown, and welcome to another edition of School Zone. We're glad to have you with us here on the Education Channel Cable 99. We're on location today in East Naples at Lorenzo Walker Technical High School, home of the Mustangs. Leanne, this school is unique in a number of ways, primarily because the students who are here want to be here. They chose this school. That's right, Joe. We're going to find out what makes the school so unique and I'm sure in the process find out why the students want to be here as we begin our visit in the office of the principal, Jeanette Johnson. Hello and welcome to Lorenzo Walker Technical High School, Joe. What we've done here in terms of establishing a culture, uh, it's made it easier for help us to get word out about what we do. So many people don't understand what the school is or they have misconceptions. So being able to grow a grade level at a time has allowed us to grow as an understanding of our program grew. Well, you're with us in the school zone in East Naples at Lorenzo Walker Technical High School. And you're watching the Education Channel, Cable 99, your window to education. Leanne, coming up, I'm gonna get myself signed up for a rather unique class, a genetics class, which really sounds cool. It does, and I'm gonna find out more about the practical nursing program, which is one of those high demand, always here careers. So at the top of the show, Principal Jeanette Johnson told us that Lorenzo Walker Technical High School prepares students for college and for careers. Let's focus on the college prep side to see what the school does to help students prepare for college. Well, one of the things that she expects, she and the rest of the teachers expect, is that students take all four years of the core classes. They have to take four years of English, four years of science, four years of math, and four years of um, social studies as well as two years of foreign language is one of the things that we do. So are there opportunities for students to take advanced placement courses or dual enrollment courses? Definitely. All of the juniors and seniors are dual enrolled. They um, take two academic classes over here at the high school and two, two blocks worth of material over at tech classes at the Elwet side. There's students that are taking classes over at Edison so that they can get college credit right away. There we have, I think, nine AP classes that we offer and we're looking to add more so they can sit for the AP exams. So we know the teachers help the students, but we understand there's school support behind all this as well. Over the summer we have some optional prep courses that they can take. Um, after school we do, a lot of the teachers, myself included, do AP prep. Um, tutoring, the teachers are very, very flexible with tutoring. During lunch, there's also a study hall that kids can go in and get help. There's people that sit there every day during lunch, and anyone can go in and get help during the study hall. Now, I've heard you teach a rather unique course, genetics. I do. I do. I'm the only one in the county that teaches it, and I love it. It's my background. It's, um, it's my passion. I love it. What is the genetics course all about? Genetics. It's such an up-and-coming field. We just mapped the human genome. And it's so important with so many different diseases out there to find out exactly where they're located and what they can do and possibly change. It's such an explosive field right now. And even I find that even kids that are in automotive or, or not necessarily science geared find it very fascinating because it's you. You are genetics. Everything controls you. The DNA, everything. Everything in your body, all the instructions in your body are genetics. And that's what my course is about, is teaching them how the instructions work, how it plays about how there are so many different, why we look different, how we inherit things. And we have you teach this course because this is something you really love. Definitely, I definitely really, it's my passion. I did it in college. Um, I always tell the students, first day of class, you know, I walked into college and our professor said, this will be the hardest course you take because my background is bio pre-med. This will be the hardest course you take. You will not achieve an A in my class at all. And I said, that is so not going to fly with me. <laughs> I wound up with an A, and I wound up doing research with him. Over the summers, I was in a research program, and that's just, for whatever reason, has always been my passion. 
I'm guessing this is a really popular class on this campus? It is, and they're intimidated at first because this was his first semester, last semester, and the student response that I've got is, it is difficult, but I make it fun, and it's so interesting. I mean, they just want more and more. Some of the questions they come up with are just fantastic because they're so, it's so interesting. It's so, it's so relatable to real life. So Tara, that's a very unique course. Are there any other examples of unique courses offered to students here? We do. We have Multimedia Tech, which is teaching students in 9th and 10th grade, um, also in 11th grade and 12th grade to take it. We teach them how to use industry software, such as Maya and Adobe Photoshop, because some of these kids want to go ahead and um, become graphic designers and things like that. So it's, it's an intro course right at the, the freshman level. It, teaching them how to use basic programs and it just keeps going up and up. So that's it for another edition of School Zone. We'd like to thank Principal Jeanette Johnson, her incredible staff and students for giving us a glimpse into what a career in technical high school really looks like. It was a great day and we thank you for watching here on the Education Channel Cable 99, your window to education. Be sure to watch next time when Joe and I will visit another one of Collier County's amazing public schools. In the meantime, whenever you're in a school zone, please drive carefully and be be sure to keep your speed at 20. We'll see you next time. We hope you've enjoyed your time in the School Zone. The show is produced by the Collier County Public Schools Communications and Information Office. Join us weekly in the School Zone here on the Education Channel. For Leanne, Joe, and camera operator David Delane, this is Tim Brown saying it's now safe to leave the School Zone. <laughs>